On this week's episode, we talk about Fly Me to the Moon. And other pop culture news of the week. This week we saw a couple uh, space movies. Yeah. Sort of, right? Mm -hmm. It's like space, but it's like, it's not like space, Star Trek, Star Wars, Babylon uh, yeah. 5. Or, or, Whoa, or, deep cuts there. It, what do you mean? Babylon 5. Yeah. That's... Buck Rogers, <laughs> Flash Gordon, you know. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, it's it's space, but it's like it's space Earth, right? Space program. Yeah, space program. It's like we're mm. dreaming on going to space, right? Mm -hmm. So we saw two movies uh, of people dreaming on going to space. One is a romantic comedy. The other one is a comedy. There's no romance there, right? Uh, it's a romance. Yeah? Yeah. I guess. Anyways, uh, one is by Amazon Prime. One is by Apple. Uh, Fly Me to the Moon. We saw at the theaters. And that's the one we're going to start talking about. This one is starring Scarlett Johansson, J Jason Chaney, Tatum, mm -hmm. Ray Romano, Woody Harrison, and Jim Hash, Rash. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, those are the those are the big names that you'll recognize. Yeah. Um, lots of other people, but those are like the name names. Directed by Greg Greg Berlanti, big name mm -hmm. in the CW, the CW universe, mm -hmm. the Arrow, and all that. Uh, as a matter of fact, just a quick note that he was saying, uh, uh no, the the big boss on CW was saying yeah. not long ago that CW saved the channel. And no, CW, the Arrow. The Arrow. Yeah. Saved. The, the, the channel and it did after the arrow yeah they got several of the shows that like mm -hmm. br brought new life for the show unfortunately the same shows that came to brought new life was like they, they they rose i guess they rose so fast that they fell hardly because uh most of them they end uh, uh, tragically i guess I guess is the, the old premise: you, you live and live long, you die a die hero, hero, or li live long enough to be a crappy show on CW. <laughs> uh, and you know, ouch! Flash, but it's true. Oh, the Flash. Flash, Bad Woman, and the uh, Bad still, Woman we, was never good. We still never <laughs> finished that because That's okay. because yeah. That's Anyways, okay. so uh, uh, Greg Berlanti uh, mm -hmm. uh, and this one. Fly Me to the Moon, available on theaters everywhere, mm -hmm. is about the space program, and it plays uh, uh, in the in the joke in the conspiracy theory that the man never went to the moon, mm -hmm. that it was fake. He was made in the studio, and there's a French mockumentary called Operation Loon about it and how Stanley Kubrick made it made it in a soundstage. And the movie uses that, uses the space program, and kind of shows both sides. Show the space program fighting to send Apollo 11 to send a man to the moon. And there's a government mm -hmm. agent, a uh, super secret agent, that finances... Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. That finances a publicist, a marketing specialist. Yeah, basically, it's okay. The, the space program, the space race, the NASA needs... PR and so they bring in Scarlett Johansson who is like a Mad Madison Avenue ad whiz marketing whiz and she comes in and kind of whips things into shape and gets money flowing and everything's great and then he's like oh by the way we can't mess this up so you've got to be ready to fake it so yeah all that there's this is, is very funny it's very comedic but it, it has a lot of heart because it's a subject that is a uh, very important and mm -hmm. people that fought for for that to happen uh they were very engaged a lot of people that are very engaged for 10 years to 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 make that happen so it has a lot of heart mm -hmm. and is but it's, it's very funny and very very interesting and yeah. it has this 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 sort of cute romance between Scar Joe's character and Shane and Titan's character. Mm -hmm. I feel like the marketing really did this one a disservice. I wasn't super interested in it because... Really? Yeah, the marketing played on two things that I really can't stand. Oh, this crazy woman's coming and messing everything up. But and the movie has that. It does, but there's so much more to it. And then it also like, oh, the moon landing was faked, which is like 
such a stupid conspiracy theory that but like it was a joke in the trailer. But but like it's just I, I hate that conspiracy theory so much. <laughs> because like getting to the moon is like one of the greatest things that human beings have ever done and like it doesn't could have done, you say? have ever done. That okay. human beings have yeah, ever I done. I thought you said could done. Like they didn't do it. <sighs> Shut up. Uh, and I feel like the the conspiracy, this whole conspiracy theory, just like take this is something like really good that we did, and it doesn't have a dark side to it. Like it's, I mean, dark side to the moon, but whatever. Like it's just a really good, incredible thing that people did, and it's a thing that really happened. And the conspiracy theory makes anyway. I wasn't interested in it, but the movie has so much more heart and depth than that and it's also gives us like a look at like kind of a uh, behind the scenes look at the Apollo program that um, other movies haven't done like this isn't really about none of this is in Houston or at, um, at Mission Control this isn't about the astronauts although they're there um, this is about launch control guys putting together the rockets people have put their heart and souls on the line like it's and and this this ad exec who comes kind of gets to see all that. So anyway, there's just a lot more like depth and heart to this movie than the marketing lets on. And I thought it was I really enjoyed it from beginning to end. Yeah. No, no, it was it was really fun. It was really well done. Uh it it has it's beautiful images of the the whole process uh, yes. of sending the man to the moon. Uh and uh on on the side there's this this uh marketing lady mm -hmm. that does everything she can and some things that she couldn't to <laughs> to make it happen so seducing mm -hmm. flirting but like in a in a business type of way uh -huh. to get votes in the senate to get yep. budget to make the the pop the program popular mm -hmm. among you know the population and yep and it is it, it, it almost it, it, it almost you almost wish like it was true right it was it wasn't the case it's it's, it's fiction there was not that that, that lady doesn't exist mm -hmm. the, the there was by, by all means there was no marketing part of the program there was no faking of the moon landing but it's like it's so it's so good it's so cute that you almost wish there was like you know these mm -hmm. people found creative ways to to make it happen uh, but yeah, it was fun. It was it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Fly me to the moon. They probably play the song, play three or four different times and four different versions. They really got their money's worth out of yeah. that title. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's available features everywhere. Mm -hmm. We recommend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? No, I think that's good. Yeah, it's. Uh, one thing that they, they 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 touched on this, that they the I don't know they might touch on the movies. I I've never seen that many movies about uh, uh, the subject. When you mentioned Houston, I thought it was like, so, huh? like w the other movies, they only show Houston. They forgot about. We don't spend a lot of time in launch control, and 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 not just movies about Apollo, but like Apollo thirteen, we're in mission control the whole time, yeah. and um, like the right stuff there I, yeah i guess there aren't a ton of movies but the movies the books the documentaries tend to we just haven't seen things from that angle huh, okay. too much anyways uh, uh, and also like focusing on the guys on the ground instead of the astronauts like um first man right it was really about neil and his experience oh but first man kind of sucked it was not a good movie yeah i'm not saying it was a good movie but like so so there are movies about this and documentaries and all the other stuff but this one gave us a slightly different side of things yeah they even touched in a very very uh nice way uh the tragedy of apollo one and the deaths of the three mm -hmm. astronauts they they honored them in a very nice way which i thought yeah. was, was was pretty cool mm -hmm. uh yeah anyways yeah I, I was actually mad that they started the movie with apollo one i was like oh I don't want to feel that right now. But then that's another thing that gets developed throughout the film is some, into something just really beautiful. Yeah. But it was the whole point. It was like they, mm -hmm. they, 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 they made it impossible. It was like they were losing pop popularity. They were losing budget. Mm -hmm. They lost lives. 
it was like the program I was about to end and uh, fictionally that lady uh, helped save it of course the program survived not because of her but but there was a whole mm -hmm. point of uh, uh, surviving struggles and in, in, in tragedy to you know go to the highest you know the moon yeah anyways fly Good me stuff. to the moon available on futures everywhere mm -hmm. you should check it's it's is that going to stream on Apple soon? Do you know? I assume so. If it's an Apple movie. Because it is movie, an Apple movie. Yeah, definitely will. Mm. Yeah, so soon it should be on Apple. But you should go see at the theaters. There's some good images of of the Apollo going up and, and real images of the moon landing. Uh, you know, in the mm -hmm. big screen, is it's always better. Yep, yep, yep. It's good stuff. Okay, so our next space program film is 110% work of fiction. It's is called it? Space Cadet. But this one was so intense. It's from, it's from it Prime so, Video. It was so like hardcore. It was like, whoa. The space program is exactly like Police Academy? That's amazing. This movie, okay, so this is written and directed by Liz W. Garcia, and I don't really know anything about her, um, except good for her getting a movie written and directed. Um, this movie is like straight out of like 1986 it's oh but there's some things that tells is not 1986 sure it's like, like the crew, the the crew and like, stuff, like, but the, like crew, the plot the crew the crew the crew is like all woman not a young age woman uh -huh. but you can go in any any uh agency any uh armed forces you will never find even though there's more women in the planet you will never mm -hmm. find more women than men. And in this one, the crew was like four women, one guy. That's right. Yeah. So there's there's little things that tell you it's not 1986, but it's definitely so sure. followed the recipe. Yeah. The plot the plot is straight out of like yeah. kind of fun, campy 80s movies. And that kind of threw me because like in an 80s movie, it totally works. But that kind of like the, the kind of implausibility and the, the stretches of... Um, the, the the extent to which I was required to suspend my disbelief. Yes, it was tough to swallow from a modern yeah. film. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should forget a lot of things. Yes, uh, just let that, go that, of that, you know, reason. We don't have rationality. We don't have e checks and, and background check and, and a resume. What NASA's uh, logo looks <laughs> like. Oh, just yeah, forget oh, all that. Yeah, it's like NASA's NASA's in the city. Of police academy. Uh -huh. Imagine, imagine police academy meets uh, legally blonde. Uh -huh. uh, but less uh, uh, concerning legally blonde, less funny because Reese Witherspoon is fantastic. That on, movie is on, on, unbelievable. On, 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 on uh, like legally blonde. Mm -hmm. This one is, is Emma Roberts. She's good, but she's not. She's known. Uh, Belle, what's her name? L. L. Woods. L. Woods. It's true. Yeah. Notably, because L. Woods actually passed. The yes. LSAT with yes. flying colors. Yes, yes. Um, and like didn't lie at anywhere yeah. along the way. This one, uh, gym assistant, secretary receptionist, whatever, yes. was able to cheat to to uh, uh, to cheat NASA. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, and Gabriel Union, who is ugh, anyway, I, I feel like I'm, I'm just gonna like spoil this completely more. Just, if you're going to watch this movie, it is very fun. It is very funny. But you've got to let go of everything. Yes, yeah. To be it's, able to watch it. Poppy Lou pays the same character she plays all the time. But she's pregnant. But she's pregnant. Um, <laughs> and, but, I mean, the same character she plays all the time is, is a very funny character. A loyal friend. So she's very entertaining. Yeah. Um, Emma Roberts is Tom Hopper entitled plays, but hilarious. Tom Hopper plays this... this, this the description from the movie this tall he british tall. glasses british guy with glasses yes that's been that's been deceived by by two girls and he's he a fun was, subversion of the trope of like the nerd girl with the ponytail and glasses yeah. and nobody realizes she realizes she's gorgeous until she takes True. off her glasses and they're like what yeah. but even even on the nerdiness he, he he's yeah. not he's not as as some of those nerd, nerdy girls, mm. they are smart. 
he's not so smart because again he was deceived by by two girls from and they made sure they were from Florida because you know are they really played up the Florida uh, uh, yeah apparently Florida's out of this world but like the the joke versions of Florida yeah anyways Emma Roberts Mm -hmm. uh, Tom Roper Gabrielle Union and uh, a lot of other fun people are on this movie Mm -hmm. on Mm -hmm. Amazon Prime Video Space Cadet uh yeah it's it's pg right g is like very low right i think it was pg-13 was it there's some words i think maybe okay i might be wrong if it is it's for like for words and and yeah adult humor but yeah it is is a little bit i i would say maybe police academy for the girls uh don't blame this on us no i mean do you think that was made for boys (laughs) i i don't know who this was made for I admittedly, I, I, I got to the point it where was I made by a woman it. for a woman. Representation matters. <laughs> I didn't feel represented. Anyways, uh, again, there's also some cool images of whatever place they shot, uh, even though they, I don't think they, they had a different than, than uh, Flying to the Moon that I think they got NASA endorsement and help and they shot there and stuff like that this one mm. i think they shot in what was it new jersey yeah new jersey wow so oh yes the florida of new england <laughs> anyways a space cadet to Femma mm-hmm. roberts available on amazon prime uh yeah go check it <laughs> um okay so not a whole lot going on in the world of pop culture there yeah, is a lot we're gonna talk about oh, okay fair enough, fair enough fair enough fair enough <laughs> People say, what? What? What's going on? There's nothing going on. Oh, there is. Um, First one. Minions came out hugely. 120 yes. plus million is doing great. And yes. the, minions, the Minions are fun. The Minions are funny. They, they, they are out of this world in all, good, in, all, in all the best ways. They are escapism. They are fun. They are funny. Mm. They don't try to preach you uh, uh, wokeism or any other crappy agenda it's, true. it's just to make you laugh <laughs> and that uh, you know <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know uh but this one the speak about me four uh mm-hmm. they are back guru is back and yeah. yeah they knock it out of the park in fact when we were at the theater to see fly me to the moon minions was premiering play anyway minions was there the theater was full of like tiny children in pajamas with giant blankets and little sodas <laughs> it was so cute yeah um so yeah that one's getting a lot of love um and yeah the minions like i feel like if you were to describe the minions to me on paper i'd be like that sounds very annoying and obnoxious but i watch them and they just crack me up i'm a 36 year old woman but they're oh man those guys so funny anywho um netflix has a live action horizon zero dawn series it's dead canceled yeah. yeah and there's like internal fights and people blaming people not gonna get into it mm-hmm. but you know some of this stuff coming out is like sure good whatever it's like you know it's, especially netflix yeah. and and knowing the the series i mean the series itself the second the second game they deformed the character there was like a sort of pretty lady and they made it look like a you know, which is a is a trend, which is mm-hmm. a problem with games these days, uh, for for sake of uh, uh, representation and, and, and diversity and uh, justice, the the butchering characters that should work as role models and the 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 killing role models. But anyways, we're not gonna talk about video games that much. Okay. Oh, we oui, we. Oui. There's more. <laughs> no, there's not more about video games. Um, this is fun. Not sure what's going on in Italy, but Kevin Spacey is receiving the nation's lifetime achievement award. So brave. Why? So well deserved. Is he Italian? I don't. He's 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 like he I went through so much. You know, people try to blame him some sexual allegations, but they didn't know that he was gay. <laughs> there are every now and then things align <laughs> and in our deeply polarized world we manage to like <laughs> unite and that moment was one of them and he was like but and they're like you assaulted me and he's like but i'm gay and right left conservative left whatever all came together and was like that's not how you get away with it man. that's not the time to come out that wasn't cool besides the fact that's not right besides 
besides the fact that the the, the Hollywood people like there was a, like a oh my gosh. A, you know like a thousand voices like yes. <laughs> when the, the other died there was yes. a thousand voices thousands of voices that, cried that out was, that was like when they heard that it's like duh <laughs> it's like really it's like what it's like it's like when Ricky Martin came out as gay too it's like so what really come on <laughs> yeah but Ricky Martin didn't come out as gay yeah, yeah, yeah. in I'm an not, attempt to get out in yeah, yeah. way with sexual I, I'm assault just saying, like, I'm just saying it was a mix that it was like really did you gonna use that excuse yeah. but with just like come oh everybody knew so, yeah, anyway. yeah first of all shocker <laughs> second of all mm, yeah. still a predator <laughs> yeah so, he was on Pierce Morgan a long ago crying saying that he lost yeah. his house and lost everything and and uh, yeah it's a whole mess and, and yeah like if we're wrong about him i what do is, sincerely feel bad for him but oh what my is gosh. sad what is sad is uh it, it, it's uh, he he's 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 not the exception he's the one that got that got caught hollywood is full of that crap and and yeah mm -hmm. it's yeah he was there when when oprah was like we get, we're going for you out there. That's right. And today, instead of saying we're going for you in here, because it's like, he was there. Davy Frank, no, Davy Frank, they're, they're actually a good guy. Is it? Yeah. No, uh, one of them was. Affleck, Casey Affleck was there. Mm. Yeah, Davy, Davy, Davy Frank was. Is no, but wasn't one of the Francos? James Franco. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. James yeah. Franco is involved in that crap too. Yeah. But David Franco is the funny little brother that do crappy comedies. Yeah. He was on, on that after party. He was a. That's right. Yeah, weird. But I don't. I'm not saying that the, he he he's a bad. He might be. But the known people they were doing crap were right there. Mm -hmm. And she was like, "We're going for that out there." Like, no, look now to the audience. And yeah. Anyway, so Kevin Spacey uh, and his masters mm -hmm. are going to be honored for the Italian government with uh, a, a great honor. Are they out of Italian style? <laughs> like, I really don't. There are several <laughs> levels on which I don't understand um, this announcement. But, uh, all right. Maybe he's going to get uh, uh, Italian citizenship and immunity to be uh, extradited. Extra, extradite, yeah. did, did, uh, extradited? Do they do extradition? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not up on my list of extradition treaties. So. Anyways, anything else? I mean, I wish there was. I don't really want to leave it on Kevin Spacey, but but that's that's well, all I I've got this week. That was a joke. I mean, not the joke. Can I tell us? Uh, okay, let's bring it back to Florida. Um, why are Florida hotels so nice? Uh, I don't know. Because of all the amenities. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the manatee is an aquatic have, animal do, that do lives they in have, Florida. Do they have and, manatees there? Yeah. Okay. Good. They're huge. Yeah. 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 But meanwhile, we, we leave with that. We are watching uh, the new season of Prodigy. Star Trek Prodigy. Nice because it's, mm -hmm. uh, it started pretty good. This this season seems like they're gonna go and deal with time travel. Oh. They have even even have lessons in time. What's it called? Time mechanics. Temporal mechanics. Temporal mechanics. Yeah. They've actually got a pretty good way of getting around the whole time travel doesn't make any sense whatsoever and causes all the problems for the plot. Because whenever someone asks a question, they're just like, didn't you read Temporal Mechanics 101? Yeah. And that's the answer to the question. Like, good. Yeah. You can't. Cop out, I think. Yeah. It's, but it doesn't, time travel doesn't make I mean, sense. It's for kids. So it I doesn't guess. Yeah. work. And so the only, Doctor Who handled it by saying timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff. Yeah, and they're just handling it by on. saying, "Yeah, it totally is." But anyway, we're just leaning into it. Like, yep, it doesn't make sense. But the show so is just, good. The show is good. Yes. They mentioned some stuff that I thought it was pretty interesting. They mentioned they connecting the show to to uh, who was it? Picard Lower Dex, and Lower Decks. Picard, yeah. Uh, and also to uh, what was it? There was a couple more Cochrane, so first contact. Mm -hmm. They mentioned the instances of. Of what they call when when they go to change, to, they go to the past to do something and they avoid anything to change the past, but they end up changing the past. It, it turns out that the past happened that way because they went and changed the, temporal the past. Temporal paradox, yes. Uh, uh, so for that they mentioned to so the mention Cochrane. They mentioned uh, uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, the the Romulan evacuation. No, that was a connection to Picard. To Picard. There, there and then a, there's the Cetacean the, there was something a, lab. 
the 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 yeah the, the connection to lower decks but the uh, concerning concerning going back to change the the bell riots yeah they mentioned the bell riots that's right uh, uh and 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 mm. Yeah, it's it, it's pretty cool. They doing they doing a good job as a, mm -hmm. uh, a duo of brothers uh, directing together, created the show together, and they are doing well uh, on contraposition. The, the the boys, the season is like, wow, who writes this thing? It's it's getting. Uh, you, I mean, there's the, always the gore thing, the 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 shocking thing. Yeah. But but the 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 the, ba the basic writing is like really low. And again, okay, so it wasn't just me. No. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, the, 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 the new character, that girl, she was, uh, the, the, the timeline for her is all wrong. It's like her, mm. her grandma was in the Black Panthers and uh, she, she was the Black Panthers when was no, five. Okay. No, no, the, 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 the dates are all wrong. She oh, was okay. the Black Panther with five. And anyways, so there's all sort of little things and big things. There's like, oh, uh, but that's okay. The, the the writer created the show and blaming the fans too so <laughs> it's hollywood that's not i mean yeah there's there's jerks and trolls out there for sure but sometimes yeah. sometimes you just miss the mark yeah especially when you when you prove that you, you're doing you're doing good and then you, you you failed you know you cannot claim that it's the people that like before mm. if they're not liking it now you might be the problem, and, and and but Hollywood never never takes that. They blame yeah. the fans. Anyways, among among it's a tough field. Yeah, among but. all the things. Uh, but for now, that's it. We come back mm -hmm. next week with more pop culture news, entertainment, most likely. We're gonna talk about the new Deadpool and Wolverine, oh, yeah. the movie of the summer. Everybody oh is expecting it's the only Marvel movie of the year, uh, and probably the only Marvel movie that will not suck for next several years because we'll by the news we hear about the you know blade or captain america that's right uh, it's not promising well let's hope this one delivers uh so that's it may the force be with you mm -hmm. long and prosper bye bye